Now the other area that's going to get in your way is what you believe about yourself and the language that you use to yourself. And you know, this is my absolute favourite quote, whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're probably right. And in a sales environment, that never a truer word spoken. What I think he was just an amazing uh, philosopher, Henry Ford. If you, if you want to research his quotes, they are awesome, but that's my absolute favourite. So what do you believe about you? What do you believe about your own sales ability? What do you believe about the other qualities required? You know, Suzanne talked about, I don't want to be too salesy. When you've got beliefs like that inside you, it stops you giving 100%. When you believe that sales are scary, why the hell would you want to go there? So start to notice. You know, the thing with beliefs is that very often they are, in fact, most often they are unconscious. You don't even know all of the limiting beliefs that you have. Because most of them are unconscious. In fact, 95% of all thought is unconscious, which means you have no awareness of what's going on until somebody maybe brings it to your attention or it just comes out in conversation and somebody says, that's an interesting thing you said there. Tell me more about that. And sometimes the only thing you need to do is actually become consciously aware of that limiting belief. Because Anna said, well, I wrote that down, and I think that's not even true. And it's the same with the beliefs that you have about yourself. Well, you know, your unconscious mind will absolutely want to absolutely agree 100% with that limiting belief. So if you believe that you're not very good at sales, your mind will go, yeah, that's right. Here's another example. Here's another example. Here's another example. All those examples where you were absolutely stunning, you will just delete because that doesn't fit in with your belief. Your unconscious mind doesn't go, don't be so ridiculous, wake up, you're great. It won't do that. It won't disagree with you. You've created that belief and it, will want, it wants to make you happy. So it doesn't matter what seeds you plant, your unconscious mind will grow those seeds. So what seeds are you planting? What are you allowing to stop you being phenomenal at sales? Because it's my belief that everyone in this room can be outstanding. And I have evidence of that. You know, when people have joined the sales consultancy or I've gone to organisations to do training where they have beliefs that are really negative about themselves, just by getting rid of those beliefs and nurturing the wonderful qualities. I've had a salesperson double their sales in one month just by shifting their limiting beliefs. So it's my experience that everyone can. I don't think pe salespeople are made and that you are born to be either a salesperson or not. Sales is just behaviours and thinking, and once you know what the behaviours and thinking should be for a really great sales um, strategy, you can emulate it, you can model anything. So think about the beliefs that you have. When you become consciously aware of them, you have choice. You can either choose to accept them and carry on behaving in that way, or you can question the belief. Now I have a lovely little process that I do with salespeople. It literally takes 10 or 15 minutes. I'm not kidding you. This strategy on its own could absolutely transform your sales. It will transform your sales if you take action on this. You know, I know many of you in this room and I know the amazing qualities that are in the people that I know who are here today. And Honestly, the people that I know here, I think you're all awesome and amazing.
I really do. And that limiting belief that stops you doing the things that you want to do and the other limiting belief that stops you doing something else and all collectively, that all those barriers that get in your way are stopping you from shining to the very audience that you want to be attracted to you. So start to notice, you know, increase your awareness of you because if you want to increase your sales results, you start here. You absolutely have to start here. If you haven't got this right, all of the techniques in the world are not going to help you because you won't do them consistently and long term.